Hello, everybody. It's a city Madhaven here today. I wanted to talk to you guys about something. The Orachi. This tank has got one of the scariest guns in tier eight. Um, and then it has a gun that has no value in its tier. So, for instance, I I believe it's a 100 millimeter. It yes, it is a 100 millimeter. It's a 110 centimeter experimental tank gun, quite literally experimental tank gun, but it, it that it, this gun is one of the strongest guns in tier 8, in my opinion. And let's go ahead and start diving into this. So, I kind of want to cover a couple of things. I want to cover a couple of tanks for the next couple of days, and go over what I would do to make them better, and just ways to kind of bring them up to par, because we have some tanks that just outright cannot compete at all. But starting off, the Arachi Oni. It's a um, Orochi, if you guys don't know what this means, it means large serpent. I actually had to look it up myself, and it's just serpent. And uh, originally, I was sitting there thinking to myself, isn't Orochi like a warrior? Like, aren't they, um, you know, like uh, nimble, fast fighters? And then I, I looked it up, and it's like, no, it just means big snake. I, you know, and originally, I was thinking to myself, yeah, they, they chose the wrong name, but I think it fits, because big snakes, they don't move too fast, they're really slow, and this thing's pretty slow. Snakes in general are slow, so, um, Arachi, just, it fits perfectly for the, the Arachi, the, uh, Oni, that was supposed to be a tier 7, by the way, this tank was originally supposed to be a tier 7, and, at, like, last second of development, they were like, nah, we're just gonna make it a tier 8, so let's, uh, increase the penetration, let's, uh, increase the reload, let's, uh, do absolutely nothing to the big gun, and just leave that the way it is, but let's make this 100 millimeter absolutely competitive. Nine second base reload, aim time 2.6, accuracy 0.39. Okay, so keep this in mind. 0.39 is not bad because of the accuracy on console, we've got a lot of accuracy, so I'm not even worried about this. Chrysler K, um... It, this is, oh, uh, I also forgot to mention, uh, 320 alpha as well with 430 high explosive. Chrysler K, we're looking at 320 alpha, 260 uh, premium pin, so it's got more premium pin. It is faster to at 35 with 14 reverse. Uh, the uh, Oni here, the uh, Arachi, only has 10 reverse speed, so it's a killer with its reverse speed. Um, but right here, this is a 320 alpha with a 9.2 six second reload that's 0.6 seconds longer that makes a big difference whenever you're trying to get a tank to dish out a lot more damage it, it just it brings it down to a range that's just like whoa uncomfortable uh 1.9 aim time with 0.36 accuracy honestly the aim time and accuracy not worried about it because this is this is a freaking behemoth uh t32 320 alpha 218 standard pin and then 265 premium pin so even better on the penetration uh the arachi standard pin was 215 so not too far off uh, and then as we go down, we're looking at a 9.5 second reload. Still, longer reloads, less alpha. The Arachi has 10 more alpha on all of its rounds with a faster reload. So it's it's got way more DPM. And then we also have the Tiger II, which don't get me wrong, Tiger II's got an amazing gun, a 225 pin and the 285 premium pin, but 320 alpha. And then as we come down, the Arachi, you know, like we got a 10 second reload with a 0.31 accuracy. I mean, 0.31 accuracy is absolutely amazing on the Tiger 2. And I, I have a lot of fun playing inside my Tiger 2. But the Arachi. Come on. 3.30? Nine second reload? That, that's absolutely insane. Um, there's only a couple of tanks that I would actually say that it can be compared to. And there aren't very many. Um... The nameless would be on the list, but honestly, it's not even close to being on the list because it's only got 300 alpha with uh, a decent reload. I do believe I have a gun rammer on this that puts it at 7.61, but it's like a 700, um, no, it's like a 7 second reload, and the Arachi with a crew on it. So my T32 has like a 7.4, 7.1 second reload with a crew on it, and this thing has a 6.4 second reload. Um, 3,000 damage per minute, and that is with the, the small gun. I mean, 3,000 DPM is no slouch. Especially whenever you're reloading in 6.4 seconds, you're going to be tracking, holding people down, and just giggling a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead, let's jump into a match here, and uh, I'll see you guys in the match. You know, um, it, it's the moments that you think to yourself that, you know, I'm going to, let, let's do this. We're going to see a really good map, and instead, uh, at least the tiers are nice, we're top tier. But it, we're on Westfield. In the Arachi, 25 top speed, 10 reverse. This is going to be dreadful. 
Uh, other than that, Arachi does have some pretty decent turret armor, though. We're looking at uh, 250 in the front, and then I think it's 230 on the hall armor. Uh, it's not labeled on the website. I've um, The armor viewer, I'll show you guys the armor viewer. That's a freaking meme right now, just the way that it is, because you go into it, and then it likes to zoom in for whatever reason. So you zoom into the tank, and then you just you can't even see the top of the Arachi. It's that big, and the armor viewer right now is broken. There's a lot of things broken with this update, and that is one of them. All right, we're going to be crawling into battle. Oh, man, this thing is so freaking slow. All right, so now, you know, a, a minute and 20 seconds into the match, we're finally getting close enough to fire at spotted targets. Um, the shell velocity on this as well is only... Uh, 916 across the board, except for the high explosives at 900. So they're not exactly the fastest rounds, but when this thing gets in close, it is devastating with its reload. I would say that this is actually one of the way more devastating guns in Tier 8 compared to any other tank that there is. So there, there is that. You're, you're slow, but you have this um, insanely good 100 millimeter. I mean, it's no... 5.6 second reload, but you have a decent amount of frontal armor combined with everything else. Here we go. Can we wing it? That's okay. You're going to need to load the... I don't know what the M48A2 has. I think it's heat. So let's give them a little bit of an angle here. It's kind of funny how they labeled the uh, ammunition as APCR, and it's still at 916. APCR should be like above a thousand meters a second, in my opinion. Like, you should not have APCR that's under a thousand meters a second. Like, that's a really poor APCR if it's under a thousand meters. Speaking of which, I probably actually looked it up over on uh, Tanks GG to find out if the uh, Oni or the Oho has a AP as a premium round or if it's uh, APCR. If it's APCR, that's going to be a joke. Just because 916, 916? Yeah, it's, that's a slow APCR round. Ah, uh, but the additional pin at 252 is not bad. Oh, 253. Gotta correct myself. Standard 215. So, the standard rounds get the job done, not to mention 100 rounds of ammo. Yeah, you're gonna be firing this a lot. Really decent fire rate. And this match is going by really fast. I mean, yeah, Westfield and this was just a bad combo. Really bad combo. Alright, Teenage 105. Oh, I feel amazing. I see why no one plays this tank now. It's just so slow to get anywhere. Nice. I got two shots this game. Two. I got two shots, two kills. Yeah. Champion status right there. Uh, where am I? Bottom of the board? <laughs> the 13th place? You can't blame me. Blame the tank. Okay. Great wall. Let's let's see if this is going to turn out a lot better. Okay, top tier again. Great Wall's a, a way better map to see. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so finally getting close enough to maybe do something. The Soma SM pulling over. Hello, how are you? you enjoyed that. Sad, I got a Leo. Uh, yeah, we'll push on the Leo. 342, nice little high roll there. Um, okay, Tina 105. I kind of don't want to pull away from that uh, Soma. I kind of want to just get aggressive against the Soma. Pull the hill. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to pull the hill and then uh, get on the Soma. Ooh, hello, tracks. Hello, tracks that I missed. Boop. Leo, I'm coming after you. Ah, he knows the weak spot. He knows where to aim. Ah. Oh. Knows exactly what to do against this. Sad face. The fact that this is uh Oh, I am I am no 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 Hatch, we gotta go for the hatch. Give him a decent angle. We got 42 millimeters of side armor, so we should be able to hold a decent side scrape angle, but he's gonna he's gonna find that and go right through premium straight to the lower plate. More more. A low equalizer. We all love artillery so much. Three 
324. We, let's go ahead and pull in. We want to make it a little bit harder to hit us. Jackal. I am struggling a little bit right here, but decent ricochet. Want to pull down. We want to. We don't want him to be able to shoot underneath our armor there. 345. Hello, artillery. There we go. Ah, my gun. We're just going to save that repair kit for a little bit. Probably back off as much as we can. Relocate around the rear here. Ferdinand and Jackal. What's behind us right now? Each party in Borask? Okay. Ooh, this traverse speed is super slow. We're looking at 18 degrees per second on the traverse speed. It's super slow. I mean, but for what the tank is, that's totally fine. And then, uh, what's the terrain resistance? 1.3, 1.4, 1.9? So... Yeah, you're not utilizing that full 13.28 power to weight unless you're using off-road driving. And born leader combined. Why is the bloom so big in that gun? What the heck? Is one gun worse than the other? I'm so lost. Let's go ahead and pop that repair kit. We are detected right now. Oh, there it is. 347? Alrighty. 12 to 5. A lot more activity this match, though. Kind of want to get some small gun shots on him, too. That'd be, that'd be funny. Honestly, the weapon systems is kind of just a gimmick. Uh, more than an actual game mechanic. I don't, I don't see them being competitive at all. Uh, okay. Oh! <laughs> I got one the pin. Oh, this is super cancerous trying to change that around. Alright, well, not much more is going to be getting done this match. Yeah, there, there is no way I'm going to make it to them. Like, at all. Beyond slow. Just beyond slow. Alright. So, up next in this tank is something that I think needs to be redone. Still wall, at least. How much did I block? I blocked 2,000. No. I blocked 3,110. That's a decent amount. Hits received at 18. Yes, and that Leo knew where to aim. The under armor on this is uh, not exactly the greatest. So, one thing to show off about this tank that kind of irritates me a little bit. It has a super competitive gun. But here's this. Okay, so we're zoomed in. Is it not going to do it like it did it before? All right, so here we go. Under armor right there is only 30 millimeters. So, like, if you see these on the field, all you got to do is really just aim up into that if they're above you. That Leo knew exactly where to aim the pen. Uh, 35 millimeters of spaced armor. Got 40 in the tracks. Got 42 in the side. So, a decent amount of armor in the way, but still, like, um, one, uh, 128 is going to be able to overmatch that. 122s will bounce, but 128s will go right through that because it's like 126 is what it adds up to. 60 millimeters on the top here, which is really nice. What is that front? We're looking at 70. Yeah, so you can't exactly overmatch any of the top of this. So we're going up against these, and they're going up on the high side. You're going to struggle. You have 50 millimeters there. And then behind that 50, you got 175. Is that it? You got 50. 175, 200, 230, and the low plate, top plate, and everything else. It's a super angled middle plate right there. Uh, the frontal armor is really nice. Okay, 250, 270. Um, okay, so it seems like there might be a weird spot that you can shoot in the little guns there. It's only 50 millimeters if you aim high in them. Sorry, I'm being a little bit of a muppet here. Um, now, let's go ahead and do this. So, with the 15 centimeter on this tank, the big boy gun, uh, this is probably going to drive a couple of you absolutely insane to learn this. But 121 standard penetration with an AP round, I believe. Where is it? I am blind as a bat here. AP, heat, and HE. 
Okay. So you have an AP standard with 121 penetration. You have a heat round with 150 penetration. And your high explosive only has 75 millimeters of penetration. Now, there's a tank I want to compare it to. I mean, don't get me wrong. You got like a 16.5 second reload right here, which is pretty fast for how big the gun is. But this penetration is just non-existent. And even the OHO has the same problem. But then here's the Dreadnought. Tier 7. 175 pin, 250 heat pin, 86 millimeters of high explosive pin, same alpha across the board. Same alpha across the board. And for me, I, I think it's kind of a joke that the Arachi, the entire reason why they don't want to buff the tank is because everyone that played it used this gun. Because this is the only competitive gun in the tank. I personally feel like they should buff the 15 centimeter on this tank. Make it 196, make this 250, and then make this like an 85 millimeter pen, and then lower the damage for your standard and your heat round down to 600, and that would bring it up to par. Like the trade off for the higher penetration would be lower damage rounds, but the high explosive would be staying at 910 with 10 millimeters more penetration, and then 100 millimeters more on your premium round, and then on your um, standard AP, you know, just lower damage. 600, 196, 250. I think that would make this tank super viable with the 15 because currently no one uses the 15 on it. And we're on Nominom. Huge map once again and in the worst possible matchmaking with the biggest gun on this tank. So since this thing was originally a, a supposed to be a tier 7 premium, I kind of got the feeling that they, that they just redid the 100 millimeter and that was all they did uh one thing i would like to see though for these multi turret functions multi weapon functions please lock the small turrets until i tell them to move because that one gets annoying all the time 11.7 uh, second reload maybe an increased reload to 600 alpha that that would be uh better to go well actually hold on that is a really fast reload for this tank I would say a way to make this tank competitive. That reload at 11.7 seconds is really fast. I'd say bump it up to 15 seconds, give it the increased penetration. And then on top of that, lower the alpha. Or maybe even leave the alpha the same because you're going to be increasing the reload. Hello, Turan. I love Turans. Do you guys love Turans? Oh, hello, artillery. Yeah, almost a thousand hit points from a Turan. And then the AVRE and the HE spam and then artillery with their enhanced reloads. It makes super heavies like this extremely... 800 damage. What's that artillery? It's the Bat Chat 155, so it has a faster reload and just hits them for 800. And I'm going to pull right here and probably die by a Turan. Centurion AVRE, chisel. We're going to try and pull. It's a bad pull because of Turan. Turans are balanced. Ah, yes. The temporary match because I died too early on the last one. Ah, yes. I am the Scout Heavy. Well, time to go back to slow pain. Airfield's definitely a lot better. And we're against 9, so not that bad of a lineup. This should actually go a lot better. It isn't counter, though. I think I might just go straight for the cap. Oh, no. I'm spotted. Lots of problems popping up little by little. Okay, I'm not spotted anymore. Uh, no camo, best camo. Or pre-built in. Actually, I wonder if you gotta buy the camo for this and it's like the transparent camo. If you gotta buy it, that's gonna be really dumb. Because it's already got a skin on it. Oh! No. Okay. was topped out. It's like a doom turtle. Except for a doom turtle feels faster. Okay. We're right there at the cap. So, uh, see what we can do right here. 121 standard pin. This is like the ultimate challenge with AP. You literally have to focus on nothing but overmatch. And even then, tier 6, the KV2, has like 110 millimeters of pin. So you're not much better off with this big derp gun. 
which does kind of suck. You are forced to go for overmatch shots. It's 13 to 10, and no one... Did no one come to the cap? Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We're, we're going to see if we can get any side shots here. Scourge? Light tank. I completely missed it. Fatherland, is that the rear? Oh, it was the rear. MX-30? Eh. <laughs> and we bounced. <laughs> oh my gosh. You have to shoot the high explosives out of this to do any damage. The APs is like an absolute joke. Speaking of which, the turrets in the front get in the way so much in this tank. Can we pin now? No, that's 70 millimeters. We're just going to bounce non-stop with this. Actually, you know what? I, I'm a complete Muppet. I could have overmatched his sides. I got a 15. He's only got 40 millimeters of side armor. Ah, wow. 11 to 5. This is not going well for me, is it? And this is uh, supposed to be considered the good game. Because the last match inside the uh, Progetto 54 was against tier 10s. Well, I don't see a whole lot going on now. Okay, finally. Pilsen. Top tier. Pilsen. Top tier. P Pilsen. Pilsen. This, this might go better. Uh, quite literally just putting in auto drive and doing other things. Alright, so hold A. Swap guns. Lock it again. Lock it again. Switch again. Now I get the big boy gun. Thank you, lock turret. Stay locked. Big 65 ton. T77. I don't think there's anything I can do to that T77. Frontally. I think uh, he's got 76 millimeters of side armor, I want to say. I could be wrong. Did back off the second he saw me, but doesn't realize I'm moving standards with the big boy gun. Uh, MX-65 ton, you got, you got really good armor. I don't want to play with you. You got really good armor. Not to mention, I think they buffed the hatch on that thing too to 150. Its top should still be 50 millimeters though, so that should be an easy pen with overmatch, if I can land it right. Finally, have to pin tier 7s. And we're going to get hit with three heat rounds from the T-77. Yep, because uh, he doesn't know what to do. Neither do I, don't worry. We're going to go for overmatch, 642. And he knows he's dead, but he put three shots in the meat. That's all he cared about. Speaking of which, was he the only one that pinned me? That's a lot of damage. 1,200? I could be wrong. Did I get pinned by something else, or did he really just high roll all those? I think he high rolled every single one of those. Down to 324 hit points from a heat clip from a T77. That is insane. And a ram from the MX65 time. Ah, uh, VK. VZ441. I'm not in your way. Speaking of which, I actually don't even know what the shell velocity is in these uh, big rounds. Uh, they are <laughs> 500 meters a second. The high explosive is 540. They are slow. Slow, slow. It's been a minute since I've played the Arachi, but someone brought it up to my attention that uh, this thing needs some love along with the Oho gun. Because they're... They're just derp guns only. There's nothing else that they're used for except for just being derpy. Mm, that's an AT7. I will literally never pin him. Unless... 
we can find his rear, which I doubt it. Yes, I highly doubt it. Even with the heat, we have to load HE and do any damage. It's kind of funny, I'm playing this and not even loading any of the HE rounds. But it's literally just your standard rounds are useless unless you're going for overmatch. And then your heat rounds is literally the most unusable thing on the tank. Unless you're against lightly armored tanks like the uh, Borask right there. Other than that, this thing will never do any damage. I actually wonder uh, how much penetration the small guns have on this. I would laugh if they have more. That's not healthy. That's 250 heat pen. It's a lot better than getting hit by 299 from the uh, T77. Your heat pen is literally the value of my turret. So, we're gonna play this. It's five to seven. I guess I'm just stuck holding as long as I can. And gonna get rushed by a bat chat. Really close ending there. This AMX had a really close ending. 166 hit points. And uh yeah, he, he decided to risk it in the last opponent. Uh decent match. Honestly. I mean, even with only 121 standard pen, 3,356 damage dealt. That's with a lot of overmatching. Um I I still cannot remember if the T77 put three shots into me or or what? Because that was a, that was like that was high roll beyond high roll. Like each one of those must have hit for 400. So, yeah, I, I would say a really good way to make this tank a lot better than what it is. Yeah, they got 122 pins, so they have more. They have one millimeter more penetration on the small guns than the big gun does with its it, its 150. Um, yeah, I would say a way to really bring this up to par and help match it to other tanks would be just. Leave the alpha the way it is. Um, increase the reload from 16.5 to like 19.5. And then give it 196 AP pin and 250 heat pin. And that would make this thing absolutely fantastic. But if that's uncomfortable, like 600 damage on the AP and then the heat round would be totally fine. But I just, I think it's a bit weird that we have a tier 7 in game that has the same exact alpha and more penetration yet it's a tier under. So, for me, that's kind of what it is. Uh, the Arachi, the large serpent, and I'll tell you now, it is freaking slow. Maybe a top speed uh, increase to like 28 or something just to help it get places. Lower the terrain resistance for crying out loud. It is so freaking slow. Other than that, you guys, I've sat here for an hour and a half recording. Um... Yeah, that th this was painful, and I can't remember who said I should do this, but this is painful. I I I guess I'll do another one tomorrow. Maybe the IS five. I don't know. IS five would be actually a lot of fun, and I have a couple ideas now. As I, I I drop stuff all the time. Um, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you guys have a recommendation for a tank you would like to see me pull out and play. Uh, let me know, because I'll tell you now, this one was painful. I mean, I would love this tank to be competitive, but it's 150 is the only gun that's... It's just, it's a gimmick gun. The the 100mm is the only one that's competitive, unless you're overmatching and have a lot of random moments that you're just like, Yes! That worked! For me so well. Because, yeah, that, you know, full heat clip. Nothing but high rolls, lots of pain. You guys have a great day, afternoon, night, whatever time it is for you. Uh, keep in mind, this is the scariest tier 8 when it's in the fight and actually using its 100mm gun. Other than that, it's kind of just a gimmick tank. And I would love to see it work right, but eh. I don't know. Maybe two years from now they'll buff it? Eh.